Okay, hey everybody, so we're going to do some more stuff with our little Sancho Ponza night guy uh, in chapter 4. So there at the end of chapter 4, we basically finished up the, the most part of him. You, you can see he's kind of floating there, you know, I just got to move him down, no big deal there. We've got the jump in there, you know, it needs to be tweaked, kind of expected it needed to be tweaked, so I wasn't really worried about that too much, but he does jump, that's nice. And we can do the belly skadoosh, and we can do our punch, and yeah, so everything's going pretty good. But what I wanted to show you now is um, a couple things. Uh, one is how we can kind of better control what's going on with our movement, and also a little bit about our game controllers. So if we come up here to edit and go to our project settings and go to input, notice I haven't changed anything here, okay? So I'm still using the horizontal that we were using before, and here's the other horizontal that's already in there that's part of the uh, joystick axis, right? Okay, so that, that's already built in. So what that means, if I grab my uh, 360 controller right here that's plugged into my computer, and you know, go ahead and push my keyboard out of the way, I can then, when I make my game scene active, I can control Sancho with my controller. I don't need to do anything else to get this to work with the controller. You know, and, and that's kind of really cool, at least to me, in a, in a way. Uh, but I'd like to you know, kind of get this, right now the speed is, you know, it, it works, yes, but I want to have it so that there's a little bit more variation to the speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring in our Playmaker script here, our, our state machine. I'm going to go to this move forward. And what we're doing inside the move forward is we're getting the axis vector where we're storing the, the uh, magnitude of that vector. We're putting it in move speed. But notice as far as our actual movement, our simple move script right here, our action right there, all we're doing is using the run speed. And the run speed is a constant value of uh, 3. And of course we can change that inside the inspector if we wanted to. Uh, so what we're going to do is right here between the two of these, we're going to do a multiplier where we will take this uh, move speed that we've stored out of the axis vector, out of the input vector, and we will multiply it by this value, this run speed, and then we will use that new version of move speed to actually control how fast our character is going. So let's go to our action browser, and what we want is this float multiply right there. So I'll go ahead and add that action to the state move it up there where I said I wanted it. So the variable that I want to be changing is going to be my move speed and the, what I want to multiply by will be my run speed. Notice I turned on my variable selection right there so that instead of just typing something in I went to my variable selection just as we did with those up there and I'll select run speed. Do this every frame. You see both controller simple move and get access vector. Both of these run every frame by default. So make sure this is going every frame so it updates correctly. Okay, so let's, we got that added. So let's jump back into here. And now, so I'm still gonna use my keyboard here to begin with. Now going backwards, we didn't change. But notice as I go forward, notice there's a moment of speed up. Now I'm on my keyboard, okay? So, so, you know, before he just took off at his maximum speed. You know, and the key, the thing about the keyboard is he, either you're pushing it or you're not, right? So let's change his speed right here. Let's say we go up to a 7, just for testing here. And, you know, I'll run backwards. Notice here on the keyboard, notice as I go forward, see that moment of speed up if you watch this component right here? Yeah, and I'm sorry, I've, my hand cursor is on there. I'm kind of making this with the... Uh, end version of a lot of stuff so yeah you, you, you're seeing some things that you'll we'll do later in the book uh, but yeah so notice see so he we have a slight acceleration instead of bang I'm going my max speed but this is even more pronounced if I pick up my 360 controller here see how I can nicely control how fast I'm going by how much pressure I put on that left thumbstick you know if I want to go all the way I can just hit it all the way or you know whatever Okay, so that you know, pretty nice stuff there. Adds, it adds a uh, much much more control to the speed of our guy. And let's see here. Yeah, that jumping. The irony is that this isn't actually the final version of Sancho. He jumps better. <laughs> but yeah, we just haven't gotten there yet. 
Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> Cute. Okay. All right. So, hey, yeah, so we added some uh, speed multipliers in there, and that, that allows us to really change how this speed is going uh, rather than just having them go bang, constant speed as we had originally. Uh, so pretty cool stuff there. Any questions, just post them down below. I will try to answer them as best I can. Okay. Bye-bye.